All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Um, I want to go in this word, uh, comfort, okay? Where's the etymology? I have three etymologies of the word uh, comfort, okay? Um, it says, uh, feeling of relief is still in to take comfort in something, um, source of alleviation or relief, um, comfort, okay? Um, comfort is, is, is opposed to necessities and luxuries, okay? Then it says, um, as the verb, it says, uh, comfort. Uh, to cheer up, co console, um, to, comfor to comfort, to solace, to help, strengthen, to strengthen much. Okay, um, it says, uh, fort, 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 uh, the, the part in uh, comfort, the fort part, it means strong. Okay, like fortify. Okay, um, it says comforter. Uh, one who consoles or comforts. And this is, um, that, I, I had to say that because that's important. Okay? Now, the definition for relief, it says, a feeling of reassurance or relaxation following re release from anxieties or distress. Assistance, especially in the form of food, clothing, money, given to those in special need or difficulty okay now I want to start off with the scripture 2nd Corinthians 1 and 3 blessed be uh, Yahweh even the father of our Lord Yahweh Shah the father of mercies and the God, God of all comfort who comforts us in, in all our tribulation that we may be able to comfort them which are any in any trouble okay now being in this truth this is this is all spiritual okay the the feeling that you know um when we first come into this truth or when we're in this truth you know we're we're all in in distress you know it's it's constant uh distress you know um we're anxious to get up out of this uh, this society, you know. We're, we're, we want we want to get up out of this hell, you know. So the uh, the thing is, you know, brothers go through um, many different situations in this 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 uh, truth, you know. So the Lord, the Most High, how about Shemiah Osha, you know, even though we're 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 in a poor state. Of uh, being in this um this 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 country, you know, which is known as Babylon, according to the scriptures, you know, even though we might be going through whatever, you know, the Lord um gives us uh certain uh reliefs, you know, things that um can can uh, comfort us or provide assistance um in this uh life, okay, and that assistance can come. In many different ways, okay? Is the scripture say that the Lord is the uh, Father of mercies and the God of all comfort? Okay, he comforts comfort us in all tribulations. So, if you're going through a problem where you don't have much food, uh, clothes, or money, you know, you see, people in the world, they know where, where, uh, where they can, how they can get food, or, or some of them don't know how, you know? But when you come into this truth, you know, we, we know that Yahweh Shemiah Osha is not going to forsake us, okay? And, and he has um, brothers there also to, to help, you know, the, the, the ones that are in uh, special need, okay? So, so um, the, the Lord, he, he comforts you whatever you go through, okay? So, and, and it says that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble, you know? So we we as brothers, you know, we might have been through 
um, certain things in our life. So, so we are able to to expound that knowledge and wisdom that we personally went through on um, on other brothers. Okay, and it starts from um, Apostle Tahar on down because you see, right now we have a situation where the scoffers are coming at the apostles and the elders and 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 some other brothers. You know, who've been in this thing for um, a minute. You know, and they're putting like Apostle Tahar's uh, wife on, um, on or, or the whole him being with his wife out there, okay, and and that's even more of a proof that we got to get the hell up out of here, man. You know, we got to get out of this hell, okay, because we all catching hell, man. You know, and 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 Apostle Tahar didn't reply back or or go. Uh, carnal with, with, with the guys that did it, you know, which that don't have anything to do with the truth, okay? So, the, if you see that he's not getting bent up out of shape over that, you know, which is, this is hell, man. This is this is something that's expected, you know? How much more are we not supposed to get bent up over it? It says, by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted by Yahweh Basim Yahweh and and one of our comfort is that these people who do have us in daily uh distress you know that they're going to um the the spirit is just going to uh deal with those guys you know when you can able to to fully depend on y'all by some you you know no matter what you go through whatever is you know as the scriptures is the definition say food clothes money you know you might be uptight you know, and the Lord sent some money your way, somehow, some way. You know? So, so no matter what we go through, the Lord is going to be there. Okay? It's Psalms um, 119 and 50. This is my comfort and my affliction. For thy word has, has quickened, quickened me. You know? This word brings brings us to life, man. Because, as, as I was saying earlier, you got people that's in the world that um, go through the same stuff that we go through. Nothing that we go through is, is any different than what these people in this world go through, okay? You got you got people that, that you know, um, let's say something like they had a scar or something like that, you know? And, and many people done, done joked on them and, and got on them and stuff like that. But then you come into this truth, you ain't got no scar, and you got a beard on your face, you know, people were like, why are you keeping a beard, you know, why you got a beard, you know, you ugly without your beard, well, they, the same way they call you ugly with a, with a beard, that's the same way that they call niggas in the world who got scars on their face, and heck, you got people that come into this truth with scars on their face, you know, but, you know, what we go through is nothing different than what these people in the world go through, you know, and that's the point, we just know where it comes from, we know that it comes from Yahweh Simeon Sa, you know, and and we have that 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 patience, you know. We have that 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 faith, you know. Um, it says the proud have had me and had me greatly in derision, yet have I not declined from that law, you know. So the the people who don't want to listen because the scriptures say that this is what's supposed to supposed to be done, and they come at us constantly, you know. The the just because we keeping the laws, man, you know, the laws, statutes, and commandments, we keeping the faith, you know, we're not just blindly having this faith, man, you know, we're comforted by this faith, we're supposed to be comforted by this faith, man, because what, what do we have faith in, you know, these people in the world, you know, they don't know what they have faith in, you know, they have faith that they are already saved, okay, uh, I don't know what the heck these other religions or other people that 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 um that that uh, have their own certain beliefs. I don't know what the heck they believe in. You know what are they comforted by? You know they comforted by foods and stuff, man. You know what you have comfort foods out here. You know they comforted by by smoking weed or some stuff, man. We're comforted by the scriptures, okay? We're we're comforted by Yahweh by Shemiah Shah, okay? I remember thy judgments of old, O Lord, and have comforted myself. And there, you know, there are many judgments of, of, of old, you know. And I'll 
kind of get get into that, Lord willing. It says, Horror have taken hold upon me because of the wicked that forsake thy law. You know, and you got these people who, like like Esau, don't keep no law, statute, and commandment inside the Bible. Esau is the so-called white man, okay? And they, the government, the system that they have, you know, they don't keep the law, statutes, and commandments. And they trying to come at us because we do, you know? And, and when you look at the people who don't, um, do follow the, the, the scriptures, you know, and they, 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 uh, possibly come at you, you know, that, hey, these, these fucking people that they got demons on them and stuff like that, you know, no, no telling what these people would do, you know, because, hey, act, act like these scoffers, man, you know, they, they go out their way just to try to get, uh, brothers kicked out, you know, off their jobs or, or get their family taken away from them because they don't have no t integrity, you know? But we have in in integrity, man. You know, we'll never do no no wicked shit like that, man. The the, the way that this so-called white man is going to do, you know, or, or or how these niggas out here uh do our own people, you know? These people don't don't have the laws, man. So you don't know what the hell these people are thinking, man. But we know how we're supposed to be thinking, man. Okay? Um, thy statutes have been my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. You know, so we just visitors over here. You know, we're just visiting America. You know, that's how we're supposed to be looking at it because the Lord is going, going to bring them chariots, man. He's going to deliver us, man. Them chariots are going to swing low, man, and and, and, and come forth and, and, and carry us home, man. Okay? And that's one of the songs that the, um, the slaves were singing, man. You know? The, the, them, them chariots are going to come to deliver God's chosen people, you know, the Israelites, uh, the predominantly the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, it's Hebrew, I mean, Hosea uh, 6 and 1, come and let us return unto the Lord, for he hath torn, and he, and he will heal us, you know, how did the Lord tor, 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 tear us up, you know, took us um, from our land, you know, our people don't know who the hell we are today, you know, get, took took his name from us, you know, he shredded us in pieces, man, had us out here living um, crazy, you know, uh, like like these um, people, you know, that, that we know every day, had us living like that, you know, it says, he has smitten and he will bind us up, you know. So the Lord tore us, tore us, and, and he, he's going to heal us, man. And, and the healing is starting now. You know? He's smitten us when we came into this truth. You know, we, he, you're going to get chastised, you know? And, 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 and he's going to bind you up. He's going to make you into a man of fears, man. You know, because we know how it feels to, 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 to uh, live a wicked life, man. You know? And, and, and that's really all we, we know in this, this society. Okay? Um, Hebrews 12 and 2, looking in, looking unto Yahweh side, the author and finisher of our faith, whom, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the same, and is sat down at the right hand of the throne of Yahweh. You know, so Yahweh Shah, okay, the one who the world isn't really calls Jesus, but is sitting at the right hand of Yahweh, okay, the most high, okay, Yahweh Shah is the author and the finisher of our faith, man, okay, and you got people out here that, you know, that don't believe in, uh, the, 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 the Old Testament, or people that don't believe in the New Testament, you know, because, of, uh, Yahweh Shah, they think that, you know, it's idol worship and, and all that stuff, okay, when people don't go into, uh, words, and the, and the Spirit of the Lord is not dealing with them, okay, but Yahweh Shah is the author of, and finisher of our faith, okay, it says, he, Isaiah 53 and 3, he is despised and rejected of men, and he's still uh, despised and, and rejected of men, because a lot of these people who claim to be um, Old Testament, non-Messianic non um, um, Israelites, you know, they still look, look, look like, you know, that's, that, he ain't nobody, he didn't exist and all that stuff, you know, they still look at uh, things like that. You know, they're looking at it one-sided one, one uh, because they don't understand 
what he really came to accomplish, okay? So it says that he is despised and rejected of men. He's still despised and rejected of, of, of the Israelites today. A man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, you know? And as the scripture said that I read before, that he's the author and finisher of our faith, okay? Yahweh Shah, when he came, he didn't have a house, you know? So so if you don't have a house, man, you know, the, Yahweh Shah didn't have a house, man. So that's something that you can relate to and you can reflect on when you uh, go go through um, this life, okay? It says, uh, and acquainted with grief, you know, you're going to have that grief, man, just for believing in the Bible, you know, because it's, it's not something that people are uh, are used to, okay? Um, speaking, he came and spoke a doctrine that this world didn't, um, didn't, didn't, didn't receive. Or, or, or can't receive because it's not for everybody to receive. It says, and we had it, I mean, and we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised and we, est we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. You know, so when Yahweh Shah was here, you know, everything that we, we think we possibly facing in this society, man, he did, went through much more, man. Okay? He, he carried those those um before way before we did man and people were rejecting him and they, they're still rejecting him today it says yet we did not we did esteem him stricken smitten of Yahweh and afflicted but he was wounded for our transgressions which we we transgressed a whole lot man we went off from from the Lord okay he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And, and with his stripes, we are healed, you know? So with, with the, the, the things that Yahweh Shah went through, man, he healed us, man, okay? The, that, that situation that he went through healed us. So now we have an example of what to be in this truth, man, okay? We have that, that comfort, okay? Because the, the, the things that he did, overcome, overcoming the, the wicked wickedness of this place, okay, the wickedness of this flesh of, you know, the, he, he overcame all that, man, you know, the temptations, okay, it says, all we like sheep have gone astray, we have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord have laid on him the iniquity of us, all, you know, and we all are uh, full of iniquity, you know, we all are, are, are full of uh, wickedness, man, you know, before we, you found out that you were Israelite, man, you, the life that you was living, man, ain't nothing to be proud of, man. You know? He was oppressed, and he was afflict, afflicted, and we are uh, uh, oppressed still to this day. Yet, he opened up his, not his mouth, and you got a lot of people that, that can't um, not open up their mouth, man. They just always have to say something, you know? Because that's, that's, that's that pride bucking up in them, man. Okay? Yahweh Shah went through all this stuff, man. He he didn't buck up, man. You know? He he is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before the shearers is dumb. So he opened not his mouth. Okay? It says he was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his his generation? For he was cut off from out of the land of the living, for the transgression of my people was he stricken. You know? And ain't nobody out here really declaring uh, his generation, man. Okay, the fact that he was what he what he went through. Okay, the fact that when he comes back, he's gonna uh, uh, come back with a sword. He didn't come to to send peace on this earth, man. Okay. Um, First Thessalonians four and sixteen. For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of Yahweh. And the dead in your house shall rise first, okay? And and what what this is saying, okay? What did Yahweh Shah do when when um after he was uh crucified, okay? He he was resurrected, okay? Now you have some brothers out here that um might end up uh dying or that that there are the scripture says that brothers are going to have to die for this truth. Some brothers are going to have to go through that, you know? And where do we find comfort in the fact that we might have to die for this? 
the fact that Yahweh Shah already did that, uh, died. You know? Yeah, Yahweh Shah died for this truth. So that means that um, we he already did it. He's the author and the finisher of our faith. You know? So if Yahweh Shah went through it, you know, we'll be able to do it. You know? And then and, and there's the scriptures say, you know, the, the dead and Yahweh Shah shall rise first. So the brothers that, that, that die are going to be the first ones to, to um, be resurrected. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words, you know. Relieve one another, you know. Give, give brothers that, that reassurance, man, that, hey, there's a deliverance, man. There's a salvation that, you know, is strange to these people that they have no idea what's coming. You know? The 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 fact that if you you, you have faith in your by some your side, you know, the Lord is gonna protect you, man. No matter what. If you one of his people, the Lord is gonna protect you and he's gonna gonna deliver you, man. No matter what the situation is, man. Okay? No matter what you go through, the Lord is gonna protect you. Whether it's, you know, uh people coming up against you or 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 um your your life, you know, um, that you that you live in, you know, your your house and you know, um your car, whatever, man. The Lord the Lord is gonna protect you, man. You gotta have that faith in y'all by some y'all shop. Okay, because he's he's in control of everything. Okay? Um This is John fourteen and uh sixteen. It says, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Okay, I'm going to jump, jump to another verse. It says, But the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Okay, and another verse. But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceeds from the Father, he shall testify of me. Okay? Now, I read this because the scriptures or, or the, the etymology of the word Comforter says, one who consoles or comforts. Okay? Now, Going to this 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 uh, verse right here, Romans fifteen and four. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were were written for our learning. Okay, so when you come into this truth, all the things that you that you learned in your life, you have to unlearn those things, and you have to get into these scriptures, and you have to learn these scriptures. Okay, so this is why the the, the Bible is important. The, the the people from our past, how they served the Lord, okay? The things that they went through uh, when, when, when times uh, were hard, okay? How the Lord tests people, okay? What, what Yahweh Shah, the one of the world enemy calls Jesus, that's a, a good example, the best example, okay? Then you have uh, Job and... You know, you have uh, kings and stuff like that that uh, that didn't listen to the Lord or, or that followed the Lord and the Lord protected them. Or they, or they didn't listen to the Lord and the Lord destroyed them. Okay? But then you also have people who the Lord had mercy on. Okay? So, the thing is, the things that was written before, okay, how the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, how the Lord uh, uh, flooded the earth, all of these things were written for our learning, okay? Um, it says that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope, okay? And through the scriptures, we have that, that comfort. We have that patience, okay? What do we have hope, hope in? You know, a, a new heaven and a new earth, you know? The fact that we don't have to pay for water. The fact that, you know, these curses according to Deuteronomy 28, 15 through 68 are lifted up off of us. Okay? 
the fact that uh, everything will be in order, which is, is important, man. The fact that the ones who, who, who are really down for y'all by Shem Yahu Shah will be, will be magnified, man. Okay? That the Lord will give us, you know, all the things that our hearts desire. You know? As long as it's in righteousness. You know? That we want what the Lord give us, man. You know? That's where, where our hope is. You know? Um, so, as, as I said, uh... I'm going to get another verse. I got two more verses. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. This is John 16 and 7. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. Okay? And this is this is one of the, 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 the reasons why faith is important. Okay? Because if Yahweh Shah was here, we see Yahweh Shah. Okay? We see the, the Lord come and, and, and he's doing his work. You know, the things that, uh, you know, the, the, he, he was he was here when he was doing the, the miracles and stuff like that. Okay. He was here in the flesh and, and, and people saw that. And they, you know, they, they some people believed. Okay. But now that he's not here, do you still believe? That's, that's, that's what that is saying, you know. So now that he's not here. Okay, do you have to do we have to physically be here for you to believe? Okay? And that's why the, that's why we have the scriptures. You know? The scriptures are here to 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 remind us of the, the works that Yahweh Shah did, you know? So that's where the, the, the faith comes into play. Okay? Um Malachi three and sixteen. Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another. You know, comforting brothers, you know, hey, the Lord going to destroy you if you don't get right. You know, that's one one way how you speak to another, okay? And the Lord hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. So the scriptures, the whole entire Bible in, 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 in a whole is the comforter, okay? Not no person, you know, not no man. Okay, these scriptures and this word is what comfort us. Okay, there's the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Okay, following his law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, having the faith. Okay, and and that we are going to get up out of this hell, man. Okay, the Lord uh, uh, saved us from Egypt before, and He's going to save us from Egypt again. He flooded the earth with fire. I mean, water before, and He's going to destroy this earth with fire. Okay, and all of the, the, these cares of this world, you know, the love of this flesh, all of this stuff, man, is going to be done away with. And if you're holding on to this society, you're going to go with it, man. Okay, but the ones that want to get up out of this hell, okay, that's, that's sighing and crying for all the abominations, there's hope, man. There's a future for us, man. Okay, so pretty much, you know. Hopefully this word comfort, you know, uh, was edifying, okay? And with that, I want to say shalom.